Bada bing! There we go! Ooh, that's a lot! Hello, this is Mecha Doji, bringing you some more Dark Cloud! Ah, and in the previous video, we got through layers 2, 3, and 4. And today, we're already going to be starting layer 5, which has, uh, no people, so I'm assuming that it's either going to be a limited zone with Meow Mix or Cheesecake. So hopefully in this video, I can get King. I would really like to get King. It'd be very, very nice to have a, uh, ah, Meow Mix. Well, that's fine. I have the double impact, which I don't think I've actually used. Oh wait, no, I have, because I killed some mimics with it. Ah, ma'am. Good knee. Very nice. And this is why... This is probably one of the main reasons why you do want to level up your other characters. Uh, and not focus on one. Ah, mimic. I think I've already said this before, but I know my... Younger brother, when we used to play this, he had a uh, level up literally only Toan, the main character. Toan was a beast. Like, by the time he got to, uh, I think, Moon Rocks. Uh, or not Moon Rocks, uh, basically the moon. And, yeah, he actually. Uh, I'll tell that story once we actually get to the moon area. Uh, but suffice to say, he was very overpowered. But the thing is, when he got to the limited zones, he had such a hard time trying to beat them. Ah, magic crystal. Eh, it's just enemies down there. I won't worry too much about fighting enemies, because, again, it doesn't matter too much. Killing the enemy. Attack plus one? Ah, uh, unless they drop attack plus ones. Ah, mimic. Ah, uh, oh, Grant's Feather, that's always nice to see. Yeah, because I have the hook, it doesn't really matter if I kill them, because... To be honest, I'm going to be grinding out some of my weapons later on anyways, and I don't want to make them too powerful. So it's nice to just kind of hold back on leveling weapons? Okay, never mind, I got a flapping fish. And a holy. Okay, um... Sure, uh... Okay. Flapping fish? Well, that was actually very lucky. What? This is the way, like, what, the third time I've got a flapping fish? Three out of five floors I've gotten a flapping fish. That's... very lucky. Wow. I'm very surprised. Ah, and another hole. I'm getting very lucky with some of these chest drops. Last video, I got a big bucks hammer. And this floor has been almost like almost all weapon attachments. Okay, so what is on the back floor of level 5? I swear to God, if it's Mask of Progenus, it's going to be very annoying to fight with Meow Mix here. Okay, Meow Mix. What do we have here? We have... If I, if I can... Ah, it's masks. Yeah, I do so little damage against them. Come on, come close. Yeah, that's the best I can do, really. Come close. Release your gaseous breath. Bada bing! There we go! Ooh, that's a lot! That is a lot of experience. Uh, I believe they give even they give a lot more experience than the uh, werewolves as well, which is, oh, shit, Pirate's Chariot. These guys you always want to be moving. Oof. They're so annoying to fight. Now, these guys will one-shot you, especially if they're on the back floor here. Ah, very nice. Okay. Let's see. What did I need again? Uh, magic, fire, wind, dragon, beast. 
wind, dragon, uh, attack, attack, I guess, for now. Very nice. Still need a wind, of course, and more dragon. Okay, that's nice. Uh, let's see, chest. Sky Hunter, very good. I think. Uh, let's see over here. Over here. Ah, oh, shit. Bop. Ah! Oh no 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 no. Ah, 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 ah. This is why I hate pirate chips. 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 Oh. Oh dear God. That legitimately scared me. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm leaving you for last. I'm not even going to bother fighting enemies on this floor. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Beast Hunter. Okay. Oh. Give me something nice. Give me something nice. Undead Buster. Okay, more attachments. Good, 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 good. It'd be nice to get a gem on the last one. Can I get a gem? Gem, please. Ah, pearl. Very nice. Okay, anyone? And, uh, screw the other enemies. I'm leaving. I am not prepared for long ass fights. Oh! Ah. Thank you. Okay, back. There we go. Son of a bitch scared me, he died. Uh, let's try the let's live there. Trust the young master and get the hell out of this back floor. Yeah, pirate chips are probably one of the more annoying enemies in this dungeon. Because they if you aren't careful, they do sometimes shoot a bit erratically. So trying to fight them is a bit dangerous. And because they're so hard to kill as well, it's also not very nice. But now that that's all done, I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay, here we are. Let's do this. Let's add the hook. For a second, I thought I didn't get the hook yet. Oh. Okay, let's go up. Up, up, up to the next floor. And... Layer 6. Let's switch to... Mecha Dodgy. Map. Okay, I think we'll go the other way because it looks like that's the dead end over there. Yeah, I'll go the other way. Prepare the Dusak. Okay, so uh, change of plans going over here. Uh, ooh, chest. Cheese! Ah, to replace the cheese I used for uh, Meow Mix. Ah, Mimic. Shot mimic. That's actually very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's see down here. We got a rose. A rose by any other name is dead. And Corsia. Also dead. Also, one good thing about leveling up weapons. Uh, to new stages is that it kind of resets their abs needed to level up. 
Because every time you level up, they do get more and more and more uh, higher requirements for uh, abs. But with uh, once you level them, actually, like, ooh, magic plus two. Uh, once you actually level them up, they get uh, kind of like reset to a lower level. Uh, I'm going to need to drink water because it doesn't look like there's any water fountains on this floor. Unless I can get a flapping fish and then see if there's a fountain on the uh, back floor. Ah, push cart fish. I think that's the third one that I need for the uh, fish place. Prison! Ah, there's another prison. Okay. And there's a Gyon. Ooh, money. 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 Oh! Okay, I can two shot Gyons. And fish hook. I'll take care of the rose. It doesn't matter if I kill it or not. Tasty water. And in here we get poisonous apple. Very nice. I think actually poisonous apples are very good when you want to do fishing. Uh, because you do need poisonous apples if you want to try and catch a certain uh, a certain fish. Which gives a lot of points. So if you ever do fish, uh, it probably is best to try and uh, do that. But again, that's not until like end game. See. Yeah, let's use my tasty water here. There we go. Very nice. Uh, I have oh, big chest, but it might be a king mimic, which would suck. <gasps> nope. Ah, but it's a bone slingshot. Ew. Ew. That's gross. Yeah, at this point, bone slingshots are just like, are pretty weak. And it's not that great. Oh, I got, oh, I have king. Oh, sweet. Ah, I'm stuck. Oh my God. Well, um, that was quite the dangerous situation, and I got quite a bit of experience from that. Uh, but yeah, I have King now. That's actually very nice. Uh, yeah, so I probably won't even level up that Bone Slingshot, because actually, I have, uh, I forgot to mention, I had two Bone Slingshots here that are waiting level 4 and uh, synthesizing. Because I was waiting for uh, more synth spheres to give them. So let's upgrade now. Let's status break. There we go. Now I have one bone sling shot. And yes. Uh ah. attack, I guess. Great, yes. And synthesize, or status break. There we go, now I have more synth spheres to attach. Uh, I guess I'll attach a bone sting shot to here. What did I need again? I needed holy, yes. Holy fire, undead. Yeah, both need holy, so having holy in. And that gives undead too, so yeah, okay. I'll give that one to that. Max MP already. Uh, and then the double impact. I guess I can give the other sink shot too. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's head to the next floor now. Hook. Pull it to the next floor. And to the next floor. Okay, that was 
good. Uh, layer seven. I think, I think layer eight is the mid area. So, uh, ooh, heavy. I think that's the shrimp that's used as bait. And there's more, there's normal Sam's. Ah, two shot. Very nice. Eight gold, okay. Uh, mimic? No mimic. Oh, treasure key, very nice. You're gonna be worth some gill. Uh, let's see, we get Rooty Store. Ah, Fishmonger. Okay. So around the mid area, you can probably start farming the, uh, ooh, gone? Uh, fla <gasps> flapping fish. Oh, dear God, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Uh, Dusak's abs is full. Uh, let's make sure I have attachments to it. So I wanted fire. Fire, holy. Undead rock metal mage. Dead metal rock mage, which is none of those. Undead metal? Ah, uh, undead. Okay, that's fine. Uh, undead metal. Does it actually just go away if I. No. Ah, uh, let's keep that for now. Uh, let's give some thunder. Uh, I guess I can give an extra holy. There we go, that's fine. Upgrade. Yes. Okay, what do I need? I need holy fire. Ah, no more undead, so metal, rock, and mage. I just need more fire for that one. I'll save that for now. Uh, let's switch to Meow Mix. And let's try and level up her weapon too. I do also need to level up. Oh, wait, shoot. Uh, I almost forgot. Uh, no, before I add them, uh, 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 flapping fish. Back zone. Oh, no. Okay. Other air. Actually, let's get the chest because. Oh, hello, Happy Clown. Uh, I wasn't expecting you, actually. Uh, let's get the small one this time. Ooh! <gasps> Bandit Slingshot! Ah, very nice. Okay. Uh, I got a weapon to synthesize to get steel. Of course, it's at the very other end of the uh, area. Huh. Can I make it? Can I make it? Let's see. Over here, over here. I should be able to make it. I mean, I don't expect them to how you'd be able to not make it. There we go, flappy fish. Okay, very nice. And he appeared. Let's actually go back. Ah, uh, eh. I'll go back for the Atla later. Uh, who's this again? Oh, the Gion. Uh, yeah, they are very, <laughs> very annoying to try and fight. Okay, so, let's see, we got Road. Very nice. Uh, let me just double check something. Bandit Slingshot. 30. Not bad for attack, honestly. 12 wind, 12 flying, and eh, not very good. Not the best in stats, but I mean, it has steel. Steel's amazing. So I will probably be synthesizing that for something. Ice. Ooh. 
Yeah, so that's another thing that they can drop, which is very nice, is ice. Ship cabin key! Okay. Uh, wait, do I have the hook? Do I have the hook? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I will have to try and kill enemies until I get the hook. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's find the hook. Yeah, because I do want to try- yeah, I want- I, e Yeah, I want to try and get the hook before I go to the uh, back floor because the enemies will be reset if I don't. And I would rather not have to fight all the enemies again. Ah! What do you know? There it is. And bye bye. Go! Nine gold. So I don't know the exact number of the, uh. Ooh, fire gem. I don't know the exact number that the uh, Big Bucks Hammer uh, wealth increases the amount of money by, but I think it should be at least what, like, I don't know, I'm, I'll have to double, I'll have to do some math and see how that works. Kill an enemy, see how much it drops, and then kill it again and see how much it drops after wealth. Uh, but yeah, wealth and steel, so this is part of the game that where you do start to see a lot more weapon uh, abilities. And you will start to see some abilities too that, uh, oh, I hear you. Uh, anyways, you'll see some, uh, abilities that actually don't work with each other. Uh, Medusas. Oh, well, or are they Gorgons? I didn't see the names. Is anti- Auntie Medu. Ah, it's just Medusa. Ah, uh, double impact is full. Let's upgrade. Uh, what did you need again? Fire, wind, dragon, beast. That gives a lot of beast. Okay, upgrade that. Do I still need beast? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, uh, let's actually switch to Cheesecake and have him trying to level up. I haven't been using him very often. There we go. Ah, uh, that wasn't a lot, holy shikes. Bad move. Bad move. Now these are, they usually defend, so I'm surprised they aren't defending more. That's actually very surprising. Uh, eh, it's only a nice gem. I want, a, I want weapon attachments. Weapons are something I can sell for lots of money. Thunder gem, okay. Those things I can only sell for like 60 gil, so they aren't bad, but I'd rather prefer something that I can sell for much more or actually use. Oh, dear God! That hurt! That hurt! She literally gave it to me like a depository. Oh my God. Uh, let's... <laughs> Uh, let's use two cheeses just to be on the safe side. I don't want a big pointy stick going up my butt again and killing me. Uh, we get... <gasps> Amethyst! What does Amethyst give? What does it give? What does it give again? Ice, Dragon, and Witch. I think... She needs dragon, and he needs witch, doesn't he? Yeah... Huh... It's going to be... Interesting... I'll have to give it to one of those weapons. Let's skip the enemies for now. 
Uh, over here we get in chest number one. Oh, what do you know? I can give one to each. <laughs> uh, here we get plant bust. I don't think anyone needs plant buster right now. Uh, it's a, it's a, it'll be nice to at least give it to someone. And antidote drink. And then we get... Ooh, an aquamarine. Aquamarine, I don't think aquamarine has anything that I need for anyone. Yes? Yeah, ice, fish, and flying. I... Wait, does he need fish and flying? No. Does she need fish or flying? No. Uh, what about main character? No. No. Wait, we double, double check. No, okay. Um, yeah, I'll have to... Yeah, yeah that's fine, I guess. Uh... Let's get some experience from these guys. Oh, oh, can we say? Uh oh, uh oh. Um, do I have soap? I have soap. There we go. Oh, how it is nice to have uh, something to cure soapy, gooey states. I think th I should be getting a item soon. The I think it's Almighty Heal. Very good to have. Uh, no, you can go away. Please, please. Bada-boom! 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 There we go. Yeah, it is good to try and get curve enemies that have, uh, good openings. Especially ones that like to, like, kind of very obviously telegraph their attacks. Because then you know exactly when you need to attack and then when. Bada boom! Yeah, because there's that very short pause you can see her covering her face. You know she's going to have and launch a ranged attack. You can move to the side and then prepare to hit her just as she's about to uh, fire it off. So that when she does, she's out of that like invulnerable state. And uh, easily hit her. And be safe about it. Because if you're not, you'll get the uh, sharp javelin up the butt. Which is, uh, n never good. I don't care who you are, uh, a, uh, a genuine sharp object up the butt is never a good thing to do. Okay, so... I think I still need to get an Atla, yes? Yes. So, uh, let me just double check what that Atla is and then I'll head out. Okay, here we go. And it looks like Jan's feather broke as well, which is... Meh. I have another one, I think. Bicycle! I think that actually completes the, uh... I'm pretty sure that completes the, uh... Prison now, the deputy's office. So I can complete that, and I can also... Ah, get away. Uh, talk to Joker. Who, if I have everything by the time I finish... Yeah, I should actually have everything stacked and ready by this zone. Yeah, nice. Because I think technically next floor might be the mid zone, which is kind of uh, blocked by getting the character. So let's leave the dungeon temporarily. Okay, very nice. Uh, so... I'll look for chests later. Uh, let's see. What do I have to do? I have to sort out King. And I have to finish the Sheriff's Office. Then I have to probably try and finish Joker's place, too. So, I think... Uh, starting to get up on time. So, you know what? Let's try and actually... Finish off King's hideout first. Ah, nope. There we go. Okay, so... 
is King going to be roaming outside or is he going to be in his house just relaxing? Probably in his house, you know. Let's go in here. Let's see. Yeah, I had a feeling he'd just be relaxing here. Ooh, thunder! Thunder, thunder, thunder! Uh, I can't open it yet. Darn it. Premium chicken. Eh, this is no good. Commoners don't just walk in and talk to Mr. King. Uh... Okay. Do you need anything for your place? Don't forget about my core. Don't you love that sleek body? Not bad, right? Uh, yes. Sure, why not? Uh, yep. Yeah. So we just need the car to finish off his place. And... Without further ado... Limousine. There's the event. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing on there. I can't go in here, can I? Yeah, no. I believe... Oh, I, ha I totally forgot. I haven't checked up here for chests. Chests, 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 chests. Chest. Fruit of Eden. Oh, I haven't actually used my gourd or fruit in Eden uh, that I got in the previous video just yet because of a certain reason. Uh, hello? There we go. Stu, seems like someone's at the door. Could it be the boy who restored my gorgeous mansion? Yes, sir, it seems so. Yikes! So he's come? Ugh, he'll be coming asking for money, money, and more money. Probably. That's no good. No good at all. Wait. I've got an idea, boss. Duh. What? King bullying a boy? Can you imagine the bad press? No, no. We don't want bad rumors before the election. Ah, uh, what do we do? Boss. Eh? Oh, that's it. We still have that option. I love his face right here. <laughs> oh my god, I, I always love that face. But that is quite, uh, I don't want to be involved with that. No worries, it'll be okay. It's a two for one deal. Uh, alright. Ah, so you're the kind lad that completed my house for me, eh? Indeed you are. Oh yes, Mechadoji. Right. How can I help you today? Oh, no need to tell me everything. I get the picture. Wait over there. We'll get you what you need. Yes, something special. This is actually a very nice house though, to be fair. What was that glitch on the back of his head there? Uh, Mechadoji was your name? Yes. You see, in this world, there are things so valuable that they're invaluable. In other words, there are things money can't buy. And this is one of them. Here you go. In appreciation of your hard work, please take it. Uh, I don't really need it. It's, doesn't look like anything important. I mean, if it is important, I'd rather not take it because it's... I'm just a boy. Eh? You tell me you don't want it? Why? If you don't have a good reason, then you must accept it. You don't want to embarrass King by going without letting me return the favor. Then please accept this and be on your way. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, uh-oh. Uh. Hello there. How can I serve you, King Darling? Uh, no, no, it wasn't me. I haven't done anything. Oh, I see. It's not that this time, huh? Oh, that's no fun. So, it's you guys this time? How can I serve you? Uh, no, no, it's not me. I don't know anything. What? No, it couldn't be. You called me for no reason. That's not good. That's not good at all. Mm. 
<laughs> and here she is, casually holding up a man by the scruff of his neck. King, darling, I sense it in the air lately that every time I come out, you seem upset. Or is it that just my imagination? Upset? Me? No, never. Don't be silly. You never, uh, upset me. Really. Then say my name out loud. Come on, with feeling. Yeah, so we have a genie, Ruby. However, as she will be a playable character, we get to rename her. So, by the will of the Reddit gods, her name shall be... Vivi! Yeah, so I did decide on Vivi, mostly because once I saw the same, I don't know why, but you know what? She does give like old Vivi from One Piece vibes. Even though they look like almost nothing like, she just, I don't know, she just gives off those One Piece Vivi vibes. Probably because they're both kind of, although Vivi's more uh, Egyptian inspired. But, you know, still around the Middle Eastern area, they're around that space. Still kind of inspired around the same places. Uh, anyways. Uh, I was thinking maybe just naming her Tits McGee as another name that was given. But, you know, I have Meow Mix and I have Cheesecake as kind of some goofy names. I'll go with a more serious name this time. Why not? Because I think it, it would get kind of old just always referring to her as Tits McGee. So, yeah, hello, Miss, hello, Tits McGee. Yeah, no, it, it'll get old. So, yeah, VV will be it. An actual name. So, yes. Uh, the great genie, VV. Yes, that's the spirit, but you know my greatness already. So why do you go and call upon my greatness and majesty for no reason? Uh, well, actually, actually uh, he calls you. Uh... Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? Of course not, I'm not. I'm the main character. Of course I wouldn't be in trouble. Ah, so you're the one. The boy everyone is talking about. Going around fixing the world. Wow, that's awesome. And is this dark genie that's caused this mess that powerful? Uh, yep. Stronger than me? Yep. Hmm. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm in. I'll invite the dog genie with you. Just give me a holler when you need me. Hey! Vivi has become an ally. We have our next character to be on the team, which is very nice. It's always nice to have a new character. So, Vivi uses bangles or, I guess, rings as weapons, and she is purely magical. You cannot have a weapon without an attribute. Uh, this is actually pretty uh, unfortunate in the uh, Demon Shaft, where there's enemies with very high elemental resistances, uh, and you learn how to fight without them. So, yeah, so she has, starts out with a gold ring. Very bad, but very high magic. Very high. So, magic is very good on, uh, on Vivi here. But, before we end the video, there's one thing I want to do. Let's continue saying, let's actually finish off, uh, Jack's, uh, store. Oh, uh, nope, sorry, right there, sunshade, let's put the chimney right here, let's put the lamp right here, and let's put the annex room right here. So, we just need to go into this house and see the, wait, oh, that's Joker's house, never mind, uh, Jack store. Uh, let's actually also move it around. Oh, wait, uh, I can't go in because it's night time. Okay, uh, so I will be coming back when it's daytime and they're actually open. So, uh, be right back with the event. 
Okay, here we go. Let's go inside now. Ah, oh, there's a chest. I want to get that chest. Uh Oh, there he is. Hey, Mechadoji. Thanks to you, I can now reopen my store. Drop by Jack's store for weapons big and small. Oh, just so you know, I don't get gifts or anything like that. Don't get your hopes up. What? Ah, oh, I get it. I was expecting something like that. <laughs> that voice! <laughs> Vivi, the boss's wife... Wait, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Did this turn into an ugly bastard doujinshi? Without me realizing. Vivi, the boss's wife! What are you doing here? What brings me here? What a thing to say after such a long time. Hmm, you know, it's important to show proper gratitude. If not, well, if it's going to be like that, I might start getting upset. I, I understand, Miss Vivi. Anything, anything you need, it's yours. Why don't you come up with something you've got a brain, don't you? Use it. Those primitive PS4... or PS4, God. <laughs> Those primitive PS2 jiggle physics. They are beautiful. Uh, yeah. Understood, Miss Vivi. Wait here just a second. <laughs> uh... Sorry to keep you waiting, Miss. We got a big bucks hammer! Very nice. This is for you, Miss Vivi! It's a platinum ring! Hmm, very common, isn't it? Uh, it will do for now. This is it for today. And we got a platinum ring! Haha, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, if you did this event in Jack's store before you finished and completed King's Hideout and got, well, BV. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't get anything. You'd get literally Jack. You get Jack shit from Jack. Uh, yeah, so if you did complete VV and got her before, you get not only a big bucks hammer, which is very nice, but a platinum ring, which doesn't have attack, but it has a lot of magic. So, yeah. Very nice. I'm gonna try and level this up. Very nice. Ah, no slayers. That sucks. Eh. Nah, that's fine though. Okay. So, yeah, if you double check, if you go in here, and where was that chest? I saw that chest. Where'd it go? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Cheese! Anything in here? Anything in here? Nah, nothing in here. Okay. Anyways, uh. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, there we go. Uh, talk to him. And, yeah, he sells kitchen knives, gladiuses, bone slingshots, big bucks hammers, and platinum rings. So, you can buy big, uh, big, uh, big bucks hammer... Big, big bucks hammers from him and uh, easily get every single weapon wealth. And you can also easily buy much cheaper weapons than uh, the Wise Owl Sword and turn them into Sin Spheres. So this is the, yeah, this is probably easiest, easily the best point in the game to try and get weapons to turn them into Sin Spheres. By far. Because not only can you buy weapons to turn them into Sin Spheres, uh, to Sin Spheres but there's also a lot of places to buy uh, attachments too in this place. And get money, so... Yeah, by far the best. But that will do it for this video. Uh, ooh, in the next video, fluffy donut, very nice. Uh, we will continue on with the dungeon. Probably get through the last floor and try and go through as much as possible. There's nothing really that's needed now until the final uh, area. 
So, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below for the next character name, which should be in, spoiler alert, Muscaraca. But until next time, see ya, and stay golden.